In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel account for this Sunday, from John chapter 9, is filled with blindness. We meet a man born blind who was still spiritually blind. We see the disciples still struggle with blindness brought on by human reason instead of seeing the truth of God's word through the eyes of faith. And ugliest of all, we see the willful spiritual blindness and hatred of the faithless Pharisees. But for our devotion today, we focus only on the man born blind and rejoice in the new eyes he received, which are the very same new eyes given to you and to me yet today through the gift of faith. Jesus spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. Jesus heard that the Pharisees had thrown him out, and he went and found him. Jesus had given this man a great gift, but at first it was only the physical gift of sight. If you read through the whole account in John chapter 9, you see that this man learned a lot about Jesus through his healing. He learned that Jesus was powerful, that he was wise, and that he was also loving. But he could not see with his physical eyes that Jesus was his Savior. And that's the risk God always takes when he blesses us with earthly gifts, especially the big ones. Because of the spiritual blindness that we still carry with us in our sinful nature, all too often we become enamored with the gift that we forget about the giver. We so often forget that to thank God for the gifts that he's given, but oh boy, we are certainly quick to complain when those gifts are taken away. This is why Jesus must seek us out, just like he sought out this man that he had healed of his physical blindness. Jesus must seek us out so that he can give us the greatest gift of all, which gives us new eyes, so that we can see that he is the greatest giver there ever was and ever will be. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, and he went and found him. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? the man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, you now have seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. Jesus broke down the door of spiritual darkness and unbelief for this man. The gift of faith gave him new eyes so that he could see that Jesus was his Savior from sin. Friends, this is exactly what Jesus has done for you through the same powerful word spoken through your Savior, your Savior Jesus. You have new eyes which see that Jesus did not phone in your salvation from the glories of heaven. Instead, you are able now to see that he came here to be with you, to live with you, to share our sorrow, sorrows, to share our pain, to share our temptations, to die what should have been our death. He did all of this so that you and I could have new eyes and see him as the true Son of Man and Savior that he is, so that we also would worship him and that we also would shout in joy just like this man who had been given twofold new vision. Lord, I believe. Friends, I look forward to gathering with you this Sunday and seeing you with my physical eyes, but more importantly, joining with you in spiritual sight to worship our Savior Jesus. Amen.